Hey guys, what's going on? And welcome to the video. Today, I got a package here from Poland. I purchased a mask from eBay. What I have here is the Polish SR1 mask. It's a gas mask and it was worn by Sib Olsen of Slipknot during the Iowa album cycle. So let's check out the Polish SR1. This gas mask came from a warehouse over in Poland somewhere. Didn't take too long to arrive here in Canada either. Packaged pretty intensely. Holy crap. Okay. This might take a lot. A few moments later. Where have you ever seen Sid Wilson wear this mask? Probably not. He converted it to a whole other mask. He did a rather peculiar conversion to this mask. And that's what I'm going to be doing. I won't be converting the mask myself. Hell no, I don't trust myself to do that. But I will be sending this mask off to Ian Moon. 55 over on Instagram for a more accurate conversion. This video is going to be a two-parter. So in the second part of the video, I'll be unboxing the converted Polish SR1 to add here to the fucking Sid Wilson mass collection. I'll see you in the second half. For the time being, here's a couple of close-ups of this guy. It's arrived, so let's check it out. So it's been about two months since I sent this off to Ian and received it. Two months have gone by. Pretty excited for this one. As you can tell, it looks nothing like it used to. Wow. This is no longer a gas mask whatsoever. Probably the most craziest mass conversion that Sid Wilson has ever done. Crazy. Let me get this guy uh, propped on a styrofoam head right away. So, like I was saying, uh, in no shape or form now is this a considered a gas mask. Could you consider it a gas mask? 
the hose and um, filter connections have been cut out. Uh, the nose has been cut out and the lenses removed. You know, Ian was sending me uh, progress pics the whole time. Uh, he gave me the option of the clean version or the weathered version. And basically the, the big difference there is, of course, uh, the weathered uh, version is uh, slightly more weathered th than this. But the, the, the biggest detail uh, of, of the weathered version is, of course, the added strap that Sid had uh, put on this thing for, for whatever reason. And, of course, that, that came from a, uh, a part of the, the sleeve, uh, the cuff of his uh, Iowa jumpsuit. That's what he had used to, to make the strap for this one. Wow, this thing is so cool. Uh, and the fact that it's painted red, I can't help but think of Hellboy. It reminds me of like a, the baby Hellboy. Uh, I saw Hellboy recently over the holidays and uh, the one character, you know, the villain, uh, I think his name is Dr. Cronin. I mean, I think I think Sid could have easily performed that role as well, uh, especially if you were to look at uh, Sid's 0.5 Grey Chapter era uh, look. I mean, that right there is Dr. Cronin from Hellboy. Excellent movie. Yeah, uh, so what I'm going to do probably eventually is just uh, give the styrofoam head a, uh, a paint job. Perhaps I think I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to paint it black. Uh, yeah, just an easy black uh, paint scheme underneath this. I think it was the most common look that Sid had for this, for this mask. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do for this one. Very unique mask. Very unique Sid Wilson mask. And I wonder if he actually, like, he, did he do it himself? You know? That's what I wonder. But yeah, this is the, uh, the clean version. Converted by Ian Moon over on Instagram, who is also the DJ in a very fucking famous Slipknot cover band. So... Fuck yeah. Honored to have this here in the collection. And with that being said, that's the video for today, guys. Uh, got a spot up here on the shelf for this one. Uh, I'm going to display, display it up high because uh, it's a very unique piece, you know, to have a, a replica of this mask in, in my collection. And yeah, I think I'm going to put it up top. I think it'll go really well up top here with some of the other uh, Sid Grail pieces that I like. To, I like to consider them. Got a couple of uh, uh, standout, uh, well-known Sid masks up here on the top shelf, and that's where this one is going to go as well. So, guys, I'd like to thank you so much for joining me today to see this uh, unboxing and adventure unfold. It's fucking awesome that there's people out there like. Ian Moon that can replicate masks like these, which I could not have done without AJ Good over at the House of Masks. So a big fucking shout out to AJ over at the House of Masks for his definitive Slipknot mask videos. Basically, if you are a Slipknot mask collector and looking for a specific Slipknot mask, I'm positive that AJ can tell you where to find it. Thanks so much for watching. Like always, do join me again for my next video. And until the next video, later.